I kept thinking about something very new. Something I never really thought I'd come any closer to, like, at all. And that's... Motorcycles. Yeah, I know, I know. The title says Car Guy's Nightmare, and that's where the problem is. I am a car guy, and I have been for my entire life. And since I very recently turned 18, I am allowed to drive on my own in Germany. But also that I have uh, pretty limited money. And for like the past two or three years, something along those lines, I've been frequently looking at the car market for like first cars that I would be able to buy that are, well, cool in my taste. And I actually talk about my personal favorite options in my last video. So like my dream first car throughout that time was the Audi A5. Because here in Germany you can fight them for like 5 to 7k in good semi high mileage condition. I hope you know what I mean. But those still are pretty expensive. And then especially with insurance and maintenance, I essentially can't afford it. But I still want to get one at some point. Maybe even an S5, who knows. And because of those costs, I got deeper into the E39 5 series. Specifically the 520A and 530Is, so the bigger engine ones, the inline sixes. And I mean, you can get those for like 3 to 4k in similar condition to the F5. So with about 200,000 kilometers, I don't know, it's like 120,000 miles. But then maintenance on them is pretty heavy because they are, let's call it 25 years old, something like that. And they tend to rust a lot, which is uh, expensive to fix. And then insurance pretty expensive too and interestingly i got a very nice gift for my 18th birthday by my parents and that's kind of like a family insurance policy to drive their cars so i can drive two out of their three cars <laughs> which is awesome actually but sadly cars that are over 20 years old are not included so i can't drive my dad's fun machine i'll probably show you that car at some point in the future and that's where the E39 kind of fails at this point, because it's over 20 years old and it would not be covered, so I would need to get uh, designated insurance for a lot of money. So since I can basically drive something most of the time, since my mom rarely uses her car, I don't need a car. I, I really don't. Even though I would like to have one, I honestly don't need one. So I made a decision. Getting my motorcycle license now. I mean, I can still buy a car afterward, but once I get that license, it will be either getting my own first car or a motorcycle. We'll see how that goes. Because getting both together is uh, very expensive again. And that's actually where the tough decision I'm talking about is. Because I always loved and adored cars my entire life. And I always wanted to have my own one to enjoy, to modify, to take on long road trips and to just do what I want with it. To feel connected to it because it's it's my own car but i don't really have the money i mean i kind of do but then i would spend like most of my money on the car which is uh let's call it stupid at a young age and since i just finished high school the german version of it it's yet again similar but not the same i'm actually now working a full-time job and i've been doing that for about a month by now and i will be doing that until like the end of august because if I get to apply to college, it's going to start in September. And I'm making pretty good money actually. But the extra car insurance and maintenance would really hurt. But so does getting your driver's license in Germany. Because it's expensive AF here. I mean for my car license, which I got like 3 quarters of a year ago, something like that. I paid uh, 2.6 grand for it. Yep, you might be freaking out, especially you Americans. Because you have some very easy driver's licenses, I will tell you that much. And I could have done it for 2k or even less than that, but I was pretty unlucky with my driving instructors, uh, well, getting fired. So I had like a month long break pretty early on. And then after a short by six week summer break where I couldn't drive, so that like honestly put me very far back. But even with the 2.6 grand, I'm still pretty well off for today's uh, relations because most people here hit around the 3 grand mark actually. So it's, it's, it's nuts here. But then for my A2 license, which basically allows me to drive motorcycles up to 48 horsepower, I would easily pay around 1.5 to 2 grand, something like that. 
because I know how the road works. Study that a lot, uh, have some practice by now. So all I would need to learn is, well, how to properly ride a motorcycle. I'm curious how that's gonna go. And in case you're wondering, uh, the A2 stuff is like, in Europe we have like three stages of motorcycle license. We have A1 for some very small ones, like the 125 cc's, then A2 up to 48 horsepower, and then the A for everything. It's, yeah. Regardless, getting my bike license is gonna take like three to four months. Yeah, car one took me half a year. And I need all the motorcycle gears, clothing, stuff like that. So like helmet, gloves, uh, jackets, like a motorcycle jacket or one of these protector vests, pants, boots, all with safety ratings, all of that. And that's gonna end up somewhere between 600 and 800 bucks, which I'm not looking forward to, but it makes sense to be fair, especially as a beginner rider. And funny enough, right now is actually the perfect time for me to get that license because I'm after high school but before college so I've got like those three to four months in between where I have a lot of time and I'm having the money or still making some of it to be honest and as I have some pretty interesting work times so like from 6 a.m. to 2.50 p.m. working full time I have a lot of time left in the day. I'm telling you it's weird at first to wake up very early but it's a really cool system. And as it's summertime, the weather is very nice outside. I mean, not right now, it's actually raining, but uh, most of the time it's sunny here. And then looking into the future, once I have my license, I would want to buy a Kawasaki Ninja 400. It's the bike you saw in the thumbnail, right here. And I just think it looks amazing. And it really is like a perfect mix of a daily drivable machine and a fun sports bike. It's awesome. It has a very comfortable riding position, insane gas mileage, which is good for saving money. It sounds good. It's super light and pretty modern since they were built from like 2018 and are still being built today. So overall, it's a very beginner friendly bike. And looking at the slightly used market, so with like 12,000 kilometers or ah, uh, 7,000 miles, something like that. They go for like 4 to 5 grand. And I know I could buy a car with that money, but those bikes are super reliable, so there's not a lot of cost to that. Not a lot of items are worn out because they're not that old. They are way cheaper in insurance and a lot better on gas. So overall, way cheaper to own than the car. And even if I don't end up buying a bike, I can still get one anytime if I have my license. But honestly, I'm still unsure if I should buy my own car once I can and that actually is the point where you might be able to help me. Because I'm still super unsure if I should buy my first car like relatively soon, in like the next few months or something, or if I should go the motorcycle route first. And just so you know, I buy one after the other anyways, once I can afford it of course. So I'm trying to make the money to get those as soon as possible. But it feels so strange to be in a situation like this. Because I'm making the money, have a lot of time and few responsibilities. Like I'm 18, living with my parents and will stay here for like a couple more years. Because I'm rather close to the college I want to go to so it makes no sense to move, like at all. And well, I get along with them insanely well so everything's holding me here. And that saves me a shitload of money in rent. So all I would essentially do is kind of guiding my passion and a lot of my free time. And I know it's a pretty cool problem to have, i tell you that much. But it's still like, it still feels so crazy. But something that's still really cool is that I have quite a few friends riding motorcycles or getting their license just like me now. And my brother is actually getting his right now too. But there also are a lot of car guys in my friend groups and family. So whatever I choose, I can enjoy it with a lot of other people and actually plan on sharing it with you guys too. And whatever I get first, I would start making more videos on and then following up with the other again. I don't really know yet if I would do that like on one channel or separate it into two ones, so like one for bikes, one for cars, you know, but we'll see about that in the future. So what would you do? What would you do if you were in a situation like me right now? Or what kind of advice would you give me? Please just comment it down below and I'll be happy to hear everything you write on there and want to thank you in advance. 
And if you're curious what cars I would actually consider in general when buying my first car, check out this video right here. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.